Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Thule Pro Bar. Now these are available in a couple different lengths and there's really been a trend recently of maximizing the capacity of your roof rack and getting a lot of accessories up there, or gear up there, especially off-roading and things like that. So basically what Thule has done, they've increased the capacity. Usually we're used to like 165 pounds out of most of these roof rack systems. These are now up to 220. Of course you have to check your car's owner's manual to make sure your roof can handle that. But not only have they done that, increasing the capacity so we can get more gear up here, but they've added a lot more adaptability. We're all used to a solid T-track up top here, so it gives us a slot to slide our accessories in. The Pro Bar takes us a step further though. All the way across the back and all the way across the bottom, we also have a T-slot. So whether it's just recreational use, we wanna get a couple bikes up here, or maybe we need to utilize the rack's adaptability, we're going off-roading and we need some good tie-down points, we wanna put a basket up here, maybe we want some lights on it, or just helping you day-to-day -day with your normal workload. These bars have a lot of adaptability and allow us to do a lot of different things with them. Now that full T-slot across the bottom not only helps us with getting additional items attached to our roof rack system, but it helps us with plus sizing our bars. We can really go out to whatever length bar that we want because that T-slot's gonna allow our foot pack to go into the correct position regardless. Now one piece of advice with this, we don't really recommend extending these out past your side view mirrors, just so you have an idea of how far they're sticking out of your vehicle, it'll kind of give you a reference point. Here's a really good look at the end of our crossbar, and you can see where all that strength comes from. You can see it's a solid one-piece aluminum crossbar, but each of these different angles going different directions is gonna to add to the strength, gives us awesome durability. Now with this cap off, it also gives us a really good opportunity to look at that aerodynamic design. It's got a good taper that comes around the top and the bottom. And with those wind diffusing strips, it really shouldn't be louder than any roof rack system out there. Now here are the three T-slots. We've got the one located here on the top. Here's the one on the back that runs the full length. And here's the one on the bottom. You'll notice the gap here to here is going to be the same on all three of them. So it's going to work with any accessory. This cavity is just a little bigger to accept our foot pack. Now we've talked about how strong the bars are, but with them being aluminum, they're extremely lightweight. So getting them on and off the roof really isn't a big deal. And of course, full aluminum construction, we don't have to worry about corrosion. And we've talked a lot about the different T-slots that we have on these Pro Bars, but they're also gonna work with most of your wraparound accessories. You can see we've got our Thule bike rack mounted up here, no issues at all getting it attached. The thing you wanna be concerned with is the height. So any of your accessories, as long as they work with a crossbar that's an inch and a half thick, we won't have any issues in using them. Now for installing the Pro Bar on your vehicle, you wanna ensure you get the right foot pack kit. So for our F-150, we're using the Evo for naked roofs. If you've got raised side rails, you'll need the Evo clamps or whatever roof design you have, you wanna get the right foot pack for that job. Now the easiest way to do that's by using our fit guide. Just put in your year, make, model, go to roof rack, go to Thule, and it's gonna give you every part number you're gonna need, and it's gonna be a confirmed fit for your vehicle, so you know the parts you get are gonna be the right parts and they're gonna work for you. Now, with the Evo foot pack, we can use just about any of the Thule Evo style crossbars, so whether we're using the new arrow wings, the pro bar, even the square bars that have the slot in them, we just need to squeeze this over towards the center. By doing that, it pushes up on our keeper right here. So we squeeze that, that allows that to open, then we'll slide it on whatever bar we've got. And to get our foot pack positioned appropriately, you can see we've marked the center of our bar here. And we need to use our instructions to determine where we want our foot pack to go. This is gonna help ensure we get the perfect fit on the roof line. Now something I really appreciate about the new Evo design is that once we have this in the right position, you can see this doesn't move in and out. With a lot of other naked roof systems that we've had in the past, this would kind of move on you a little bit. It'd move on you until you had something to tighten it down or were able to tension it down. In this case, as soon as we release, it locks right in that position. It can be a big benefit when you need to get everything lined up properly. Now this strip has also been provided for you, and that's designed to fill in this gap. 
Head main gap all the way across allows us to use a lot of different undermount type T-slot accessories. And this can easily be cut to give that room to fit in there. If we leave this gap open, it's gonna generate wind noise. So we definitely want to cover up any unused portion. And that's just gonna be something we can just pop right in there. I like to get one side in and started and then just push our other side in as we go along. It lays nice and flat on there and it can be cut to the appropriate length. Once we get over here to our other foot pack, we'll just wanna trim that off to whatever length we need and finish installing it. Now we've got our cap. That's gonna slide right on our bar. Finishes up that end really nicely. And then when bringing this out, I like to just cut a little bit of a V in it. That's gonna give you exactly what you need. Now we've got our bar pre-assembled. Both foot packs are on. We've got our strip in the bottom there. We're gonna get this placed up on the roof line of our truck. We want to open both doors. That's going to allow our clips to go in where we need them. I'm just going to pull out on that. Allow it to come down and rest. And since these are custom fit, the notch in that fit kit should be sitting right up and it should match the contour of the truck. So we'll go make sure we've got the same on each side. And while we're getting our clips in place, it's also a good time to get our measurements done. We're going to measure from front of bar to front of bar, and you'll want that to match what's in your fit kit instructions. Now, if you don't already have them off, we'll take the end off of our foot pack there. We want to get rid of the slack, so we want to bring that up just so it makes contact. Make sure we got our positioning still there where we want it. All right, that's made contact there, so we'll head over to the other side and do the same thing. Now we'll go back and forth a couple times until we hear our tool click. That's gonna give us the three Newton meters we need. We'll take our cover. We've got the two tabs here, these are gonna go in. We're gonna push down just like that. Now the thing I like about these, they click into place, so they're gonna hold themselves in position unlike the older ones. We do have the lock core right here as well. In this case, we'll just need, you can use a, like a dime or a flat blade, turn that. That's gonna lock that cover on so it can't come off. But this can also be switched with the Thule one key system. So you can pull that core out, put a keyed lock in. And that's gonna complete our look at the Thule Pro Bar Crossbars.